Hey everybody, my name is Ted Forbes and welcome to the Art of Photography Christmas Special Edition show. This is something I like to do every year and what we do is take a couple images that are relevant to the holiday season, look at them and have some fun with that. Um, and so I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope your holidays this time of year are going wonderfully. Um, this is a wonderful time of the year to kind of close things out, reflect on things. And I like to get excited about the new year and possibilities that are gonna be coming up with the show and, and with my own personal work and all that other stuff. Stuff. So it's uh, it's a nice time of the year for that. Uh, before we get too far into this, uh, I do owe you guys an apology, and several people have emailed asking about this. But we do these art of photography book giveaways, and we've been doing these for a couple months now. And basically, they're themed. And the last one we did was a botanical themed show, and people submitted entries. Well, I screwed up, and I announced that we were going to do this like the week before I went to Boston to go work on the Harold Feinstein interview. And so it's been a little crazy, and I have had no time to get to it. And we will get to it, I promise. And now, of course, we're into the holidays. Um, contrary to popular belief, um, there's only one person producing the show, and that would be me. And so I overpromised on that one, and certainly underdelivered. And I will get to that. We will have winter, and I've got my work cut out for me. If you guys have not checked out the work people are submitting, do yourself a favor, go over to Twitter and look at what people are submitting. Um, I'm very honored that there's some very talented people who watch this show. Um, there are a lot of entries, and some of them are extremely good. And so figuring out who I'm going to feature on the show is going to be very difficult but if you head over to Twitter and just search for our hashtag that we use on this which is pound signed AOPBG that's AOPBG for Art of Photography book giveaway and uh, anyway go search and check out the work people are submitting because they're absolutely wonderful images and so the theme this time around was botanicals uh, organic images in nature and so there's some really wonderful work there to check out um, a couple things I want to recap on the year here um, this has been a really amazing year you guys have been a big part of that and I want to thank you for that um, I left my job last summer to do the show full time and I haven't regretted it at all. It's been amazing. It's opened up the time to take opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, one of the big ones, obviously, the last couple weeks is I've been working on this Harold Feinstein documentary. I flew up to Boston. We did an interview. Um, right now I'm in the process of, I've got some emails out to some other people. I want to get some other uh, voices in the documentary and uh, I'm not gonna say who I've reached out to just yet because I want to make sure it's gonna happen but uh, it's looking positive positive. and so there'll probably be another trip and some more filming involved and we're gonna put together a whole documentary on this and it'll take a couple months to do but I'm really excited about it it's gonna be a lot of fun I did a little teaser last week in the show so you can go check that out if you haven't seen it yet and I just rolled a little segment of an interview with Harold um, so anyway so that's been pretty amazing um, also this is coming up and this will be in the next week or so here this is a little mini documentary that'll just be one of our shows that I finished and I have a very good friend uh, who's a photographer absolutely fabulous photographer by the name of Frank Lopez he works here in Dallas um, I've taken his workshops before he teaches collodion wet plate process and he is amazing when it comes to alternative process photography um, for his day job he teaches at a high school here in Dallas and teaches photography and he has a class that he's doing now that's a split class for high school students that he splits with the chemistry teacher and they do alternative process and the kids come up with work that they do during the semester and they explore and they work on chemical combinations and gosh this is high school anyway he approached me about a month ago about the possibility of of doing something with that program on the show and i said i would absolutely love to share that with with viewers and so we filmed a little documentary i did some interviews talked to the students we looked at work and then i did some interviews with frank and chad the chemistry teacher and we're going to roll that in the show in the next week so look forward to that um, this next year we've got lots of photo lit episodes coming up. Uh, Paul Strand, I think I'm going to drop on Sunday. So we've got some really cool stuff coming up and I'm really excited about. Um, I want to get to our two images we're going to do today. Last year I did the 12 days of Christmas photos and I'm just going to do two today because I think these are two Christmas images that um, or holiday images that I just find very poignant and, and, and very charmed by. Um, the first one up is Henri Cartier-Bresson. I'll put it over the top here and I'll talk about this. But um, uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson, this is uh, Firewood Christmas Eve, Scano, Italy from 1953. And I love the fact that it's not a blatant Christmas image. You don't have any of the cultural icons like the Santa Claus or anything. It's just a really beautiful image of these three women carrying firewood down a set of stairs. It's got all the classic Henri Cartier-Bresson elements of composition in it. Um, you even start to get a little bit of the Nautilus being implied in there with the way that the um, the walkway goes down the stairs and I do, you know the group of three women, the kind of the angular sym symmetry of the whole thing. And I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I am going 
going to actually, I realized the other day we have never done an episode on Henri Cartier-Bresson proper. I've talked about him a lot on the show. And this is one I'm preparing for, but I want to accompany it with some more composition stuff. Um, we haven't done the composition stuff in a while, and there's some pretty deep things that are going on in Henri Cartier-Bresson's work, and so I want to look at that. So look for that in the next year. Um, I'm working on that right now. And then the other image I want to share with you guys today, and I did show this last year, and this is one of my favorite quirky images. This is Dean Arbus, and this is for Santa Claus. Uh, the funny thing about this is it's, it's very whimsical, it's very playful, it has an enormously wonderful sense of humor about it, uh, and it is only the brand of weird that Dean Arbus does so well. And, you know, back in the 1950s, 1960s, um, it was very popular to have these department store Santa Clauses that basically guys that would dress up and, and go into department stores and meet with children and ask what they want for Christmas. And, and this brings a lot of the absurdity and, at the same time, wonderful nature of that, I think, to light. And uh, it's one of the things that made Dion Arbus so wonderful, too. The composition is actually really cool here, I think, too. You have a grouping of three and then the one off to the side. Um, anyway, it's just a very clever and fun image. And uh, it also, I think, represents some of the repetitive nature of the commercial culture that Christmas, I think, certainly has and the absurdity of the whole thing. So one of my favorite images, uh, particularly for this holiday season. Anyway, guys, thank you again for everything. This has been, like I said, an amazing year. Um, I couldn't be happier with the way things are going. I'm really excited about some stuff that we're going to be doing in the future. And uh, this has been a lot of fun to produce this show. And I want to thank you guys for watching it. Um, this isn't the last show of the year. I'm kind of working through the holidays here. So we're going to have another show on Sunday. Uh, we're going to do Paul Strand. And then I'll typically do a New Year's thing where we kind of do an inspirational video. Um, because I think most of us going into the new year representing a time of change and freshness and new opportunities. Um, I think it's a good, good time to do a little bit of an inspirational episode too. So I'll see you guys on New Year's Eve as well. Anyway, I will see you guys on Sunday. Until then, this has been another episode of The Art of Photography. And thank you guys for watching. See ya.